FAU configuration according to Aon and this is what we got it's doing what it's supposed to do maintaining a 70 degree discharge air with one compressor running for now because that's all the load requires okay here we go duct static you see that supply fan HVAC mode enabled on outdoor air that's the sensor out on the condensing unit Reset, none. We don't do reset. No reset interval. Dehumidification control, yes. This is what keeps that compressor on and works the reheats. If this is set to no like it was, the compressor will come on, discharge air comes to set point, and shuts off. Priority, yes. Again, if we want this compressor to stay on and dehumidify and operate the reheats, to discharge to supply your temperature this must be set at yes no outdoor air sensor the humidity sensor that's what we got to look at not the one in the return that one on the outdoor air out on the condensing unit nope nope okay that's that basically, all right, set points to go with all that nice programming we just saw. Uh, cooling set point, these are enabled, 65 and it's 64 for that, the dead band of one degree. By the way, when that is in the priority mode, those set points do nothing. Um, it's just going to dehumidify, run the compressor and reheat. And if it gets down too cold where it can't cover the reheat, then it brings on the electric heat. So saith Aon. Or Wattmaster, actually. Alright, these are all unoccupied supply. There's our 70 degree supply air te uh, temperature. That's what it's driving to. And no coolant, no resets. There's our heating set point. Same thing. Um, if it can't make it into dehumidification mode, the reheats and everything, it'll... Uh, Keep that compressor and reheat going and then stage the electric heat. No reset. Uh, staging for two degrees for extra stages. We can't make it. Outdoor air lockout, 65 and 64. They are ignored. Uh, low cutout temperatures, it's 120. I'm sorry, it's 42. And it's a it's 140 high temperature cutout. Fan speed's 100 percent Morning warm-up we don't use. And I'm going to go to status right now. The rest of that stuff is going to come into play. All right. You can see, let me back up one. Four schedule because we got it on from the building management modes. Um, cooling and dehumidification mode. That's what we're doing. So they're both enabled. Uh, enabling temp. That's the outdoor air temp. That's 78 degrees that you're looking at. It uses that as the enable temp. Our cooling set point. Those are the... Uh, Cutout temperature 65 and 64, which are ignored. Supply air, you can see that it's gassed up just a little bit, a uh, little, little bit above our, our set point, and it's coming down. <clears throat> and our valve is going to catch up to that, hopefully. Yeah, the valve, valve position is dropping. Valve position, and you can see it there on the controller. That was just at six, it's dropping down, it's modulating down. And that temperature will come down. There it comes. It's trying to maintain that one degree, so it, it's going to rock back and forth until it finds it. Uh, space temp, nothing. Return air temp, that's the one in the filter section. Coil temp, there's that, that magic 45 degree coil temp, 44.6. That's where we really want to be. That's what's going to wring the moisture out. 